Okay. The battleship Missouri has a special place in world history. But for this veteran from Lexington and Lafayette County, the ship means even more. KMU 8's Diana Fedorova introduces us to Charles Guthrie, who served aboard the battleship. Fucheras Guthrie told started with this leaflet saying welcome aboard. He served aboard the SS Missouri during an extensive naval career, but still remembers those days proudly. Welcome aboard. Charles Guthrie chose to serve his country by enlisting in the United States Navy in 1973. My dad being in the Navy, that's why I joined the Navy, because he was in the Navy. Ray Guthrie had served in Iwo Jima during the Second World War. There was lots of... Uh, Lots of fighting. It's been less fighting for Charles. We each have lots of history to, to tell and have a lot of good memories. And there are some that you want to forget, but the good always outweighs the bad. He served on board 14 different ships, including the USS Missouri. It, is a, it was just an honor to be a crew member, a battleship sailor. He couldn't wait to get to the surrender deck when reported aboard the ship in 1991. Just a uh, amazing uh, time to relive uh, the past, walk in the footsteps where Harry Truman, Douglas MacArthur, and countless famous people have, have been on the battleship Missouri. In 1945, the USS Missouri became a place where the Japanese signed the instrument of surrender that ended the Second World War. So she has seen lots of action, had lots of sailors. This one is with me and then the ship and the... Uh, much younger than I was today. He has not been on board the SS Missouri since his service ended. But, uh, I, I plan on taking my wife and I there one day so she can see and experience the battleship li like I did. Guthrie retired in 2009, but he's always on the go. He's an active member of local veteran organizations and helps at the Higginsville Veterans Cemetery. In a way, it's, it's, a, it's a sad place, but yet <clears throat> it's a place where I enjoy coming. He pays respect to those who serve their country honorably. Many times I've came during the uh, early morning and, and, and just walk through the cemetery and read the stones. Arthur keeps all his memories to pass to his kids and grandkids. You know, there's a lot of things that, that uh, happen that we might not be real happy with, but that's still part of our history. This year, the USS Missouri battleship stationed in Pearl Harbor will be part of the national activities and celebrations to mark the 75th anniversary of the end of the war. The USS Missouri Memorial Association is looking for people who are still around who witnessed the 1945 Japanese surrender. In the studio, Diana Fedarova, KMU 8 News.